Hi, this is Tina again. In this video, we're gonna uh, refactor the promise to using uh, async and await. Okay, uh, let's go here. So here I'm gonna do is I'm just a call the show, add to cart. What I'm trying to do is here, I'm gonna just want to do like this step, add to cart, and here give a promise so we can just catch. Okay. And then uh, for what it received, here is the product ID. So this piece of code information I'm going to do is inside our add to cart method. Okay, so we're going to remove here. Okay. And then in our user, this part, here we have to change something, which is the first. We have to get this product ID. Okay. And then based on this product ID, we find our product, okay, like this. And here we are using const product to using the name we used uh, a lot of places here, product, okay, using the same, okay, product equals this one. But uh, since this one gonna be a promise, right, we're using a wait. And when we're using await, we have to turn this function to be async. Okay, and now, and now uh, here we see if the product is not empty. Yeah, sorry, sorry. If the product is existing, then we do this entire thing. Okay. Otherwise, you can throw exception. Okay, and now here we can also using um just a return is fine okay you can also using a wait here it will i think it's gonna turn entire function to be a to be what to be a promise okay so this part is uh, we have done so far right we just do like this okay now let's let's go and see if it works okay go to the part Okay, and uh, I'm gonna do, yes, I'm gonna change. Okay, I'm gonna delete this uh, user. I'm gonna using the last one we have here, okay? The last one. So we start from a fresh copy. Okay, the cart now is empty, right? So we can use it, we're using this one. So we go and change our app.js and change this part here to using the new user, okay? And then we can go, yes, to add the product okay add a card seems not working product is not defined which is in user 21 okay which is uh, uh, where he, which product oh this product is not defined okay because I didn't require okay. cast the product equals require, right? We have to require this model. Yeah, we think why it doesn't work. Okay. Product. Okay. okay, makes sense. See here, product not defined. Okay, so now we do one more time. Okay, our database first check. Okay, it's still the empty, right? Empty. Okay, so now we go to our home page and click this one. Uh, it seems working so go uh, go to our database refresh and see take a look at works right now i will click the same product again okay same product again and uh, i will click another one same again so the quantity for this one gonna be three and i click this one gonna be one right then i click this one again this one gonna be two and i click the last one okay okay then it gonna be quantity three two one okay so go here and check the quantity three, quantity two, and a quantity one, but by the by by using a async await, it's much clear to see right. If the product exists, we do, and which like a asynchronous code, and our shopper 
this part is much easier than before not in the promise we have another promise right so i prefer like this way you can also add for this one you if we have error through you can add a try catch block okay try catch block uh then pro, uh, if product not found you can have else condition which is through error or through product not found all the all the things okay so this is refactored to using the async await okay so we don't have a nested promise that's it for this video thank you for watching bye bye